Hi guys, it's Rachel, content creator for international students in Canada. As you may know, I've been doing a lot of campus tours and program overviews of several schools across Canada to help potential students learn about the school more than they could from a website or a brochure. I want to take you along with me so you can see exactly what I see. All of this is because I want to make it easier for you to make informed decisions before making a hefty investment such as paying international tuition fees. So keep on watching if you're looking for a school in Vancouver that offers undergraduate and graduate programs that can get you a post-grad work permit. That being said, I'm excited to tell you more about today's featured school, which is University Canada West. UCW is located in the heart of downtown Vancouver that is committed to giving students exciting learning opportunities. They are a private DLI school with programs that qualify for the PGWP. This means after you graduate, you can apply to work in Canada for up to three years. UCW also offers program delivery options online or on campus. This gives you the freedom and flexibility to choose the learning method that works best for you. Moving on, let's talk about their intake dates. They have four, which are fall, winter, spring, and summer. This means you can enroll at any time, and you even have the chance to complete your program in less time via the accelerated studies. So if you want to finish your studies faster than the original length of your program, the postgrad work permit will be based on the original program length. For example, if a student is enrolled in a one-year program but finishes in eight months, they may be able to get a one-year work permit after they graduate. This is good news for older international students who want to make the most out of their time and earn the most express entry points since age is a big factor. Next up, location. UCW has two campuses located in downtown Vancouver. One is the West Pender campus. It opened in 2014, but right now it's used for preparatory classes, while their new and main campus is the Vancouver House, which opened in October 2020. It's a brand new, state-of-the-art campus that has won many architectural and design awards and is within walking distance to the Beach District. Now you may be wondering what the commute is like going here. The closest SkyTrain station to the West Pender campus is Waterfront, which is a three-minute walk away. Whereas the closest SkyTrain station to the Vancouver House campus is a nine-minute walk away. Both campuses also have bus stops close by, so you have more ways to get here. In short, it's very accessible. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. As a content creator, I want to give a balanced view of the school because I value your trust and confidence in my channel. I want to be transparent so you can make an informed decision whether you decide to enroll in the school or not. So I did my own research to find out what rumors surround UCW, and here are the two biggest problems I found. First, it's a private school. And second, some say that UCW is not a legitimate school. But when I looked into it more, I found that most of these concerns were raised about three years ago, and since then, UCW has worked hard to address them. For example, the school used to have only 250 students, but now they have over 8,000 students. Moreover, UCW received an overall 5-star rating from the QS Star's Higher Education Rating System. They are the third university in Canada and the first university in BC to receive a 5-star rating. UCW has also earned ACBSP Global Business Accreditation for its MBA and BCom degree programs. As for the second concern, UCW is held to the same standards as all degree-granting post-secondaries and public universities in British Columbia, and is recognized by these organizations for providing high-quality education. Moreover, according to a survey done by Academica Group in January 2021, 96% of MBA students are working or have a job lined up within a year of graduating. They also have career services to help you find your strengths and learn how to look for a job in preparation for life after college. 
I know that UCW is a brand new school compared to other older public schools that have been here for a long time. So with all things, it definitely takes time to grow and be recognized. But for me, the significant number of improvements show that the school has made a big investment to accommodate the students' needs. So I hope this alleviates some of your concerns. Now, let's talk about all the programs offered at UCW. There are four that I want to share with you because all of them are PGWP eligible. And don't worry, I'll put all the relevant links in the description box below for you to look at when you have time. Let's start with the most popular one, which is their MBA graduate program. This is a two-year program with a total of 45 credits. It teaches you to gather, analyze, and consolidate business information and helps you develop, evaluate, and implement business solutions. MBA graduates have landed a job with the following organizations such as Scotiabank, RBC, TELUS, Walt Disney World, Apple, and the like. Next stop is the Bachelor of Commerce. This is a four-year, 120-credit undergraduate program. It teaches business fundamentals and how they work. Also, accounting-focused classes are part of this degree, which helps you get ready for professional accounting programs like the CPA PEP. Next is the Bachelor of Arts in Business Communication. This is also a four-year, 120-credit undergraduate program. It focuses on communicating internal staff to external clients, customers, stakeholders, and the public. This program is vital for digital communication, which is the future of most businesses. Finally, the Associate of Arts program. This is a two-year, 60-credit program. It can either be used as a stepping stone to a bachelor's degree in a research or teaching institution or as a standalone credential to enter the job market. Lastly, being an international student in Canada is expensive, but luckily UCW offers scholarships and grants. There are over 15 scholarship opportunities to choose from, but given that it will take me a lot of time to go through each one, I've also just linked them in the description box below. Okay, now that you've learned about the school and the programs it has to offer, you may want to learn more and even apply. Well, the UCW recruitment team and I would be happy to help you with that if needed. Or you may visit the landing page, which is also linked in the description box below. Full disclosure, I am affiliated with the school, so if you apply through Canix Visa, I may get a commission. You don't have to use my links, but it would mean a lot to me if you did, so I can continue to create videos like this. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and lending me a piece of your time. Be safe and be kind. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.